If you are a person who spends most of the time sitting down, whether that's at a desk or on a sofa or in the car, chances are that the muscles in your behind are becoming lazier day by day. Even active people have their glutes primarily turned off because it's used for only sitting down and having groggy glutes means they're less prepared to handle strenuous exercise and transfer the added stress to other muscles group. My name is Tarika, your yogic wellness coach. Setu Bandhasan is an excellent test to know whether your glutes are active or inactive. Get into the Setu Bandhasan and if you can hold it for a minute, you're good. If bridge pose is difficult for you to even hold for a minute, we need to start exercising or activating or firing up our glutes. Let us begin in the table top where your hands are straight, wrist directly under the shoulders, knees directly under your hips and your ankle in line with your knees. Your neck is in line with your spine, gently raise your left leg up. Ensure your hips are not too high or too low. It's in line with your body, with your spine. Keep breathing. Do not hold your breath. Let the breathing be relaxed and steady. When you're comfortable with that, you may bend your left leg at your knee and hold again for a count of 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You may also do dynamic lifts. Five, four, three, two, and one. If you're comfortable with that and that's too easy for you, you can start the crisscross knees where you place your knee on the opposite side. Of your other leg and three two and one excellent let's do the same on the other side lift your right leg up remember hips are square and your body is as straight as straight can be start with bending the knees with dynamic leg lifts one side is always more um, difficult than the other. Which one is it for you? Are you right-handed or left-handed? Is the right side easy for you or the left side easy for you? Do let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Another trick is to balance your hand and your leg. Stretch them straight out and see how long you can hold them for. Remember, keep breathing at that point. Let's do the same on the other side. Stretch, stretch, stretch and breathe comfortably and relaxed. Good to go. For Setu Bandhasan leg lifts, lie down on your back with your knees bent and your heels as close to the hips as possible. Raise your pelvis. This is not Setu Bandhasan. You have to raise your hips even more such that your shoulders and your knees are all in one straight line. Very important not to make your knees go outside. They must be close to each other. Keep breathing. And like we mentioned for the test in the very beginning, 30 seconds to 1 minute is excellent. And when you're comfortable with this, start with leg lifts. Lift your left leg up as high as you can, keeping the Setu Bandhasan lift intact and keep it down. Lift your right leg up. Keep breathing. Do not hold your breath. You may even keep it in line with your knee if that works for you. Always listen to your body and see what's comfortable. Let's repeat one each on the other side as well. Repeat as many as you like. Namaste from my heart to yours.